So today we're going to be taking a look at the Black Series Clone Wars Darth Maul. This is his look for when he goes up against Obi-Wan Kenobi, when he goes up against Darth Sidious, and when he goes against Pre Vistula, and then finally when he goes up against Ahsoka Tano in the season finale. So as far as the um, sculpt goes, you can see here the chest is sculpted separately from the robes. The robes are a soft rubber piece. It's a great head sculpt. Let me give you a closer look at the boots as well. The hands are both sculpted in uh, lightsaber holding poses. And this figure doesn't come with um, any accessories, any extra hands, any extra heads, besides the lightsaber here. So this is the double-bladed lightsaber that he uses in his fight against Ahsoka Tano during the Siege of Mandalore arc. This piece on the top is, you know, I guess half of his lightsaber that he had um, in Phantom Menace after it was cut in half by Obi-Wan. And then this one here, I think, is maybe part of a, a Savage Press's lightsaber that he recombines with his. These two actually come apart. This is the one that he uses, you know, in his fight against Pre Vistula and then in his fight against Sidious. And both of these ones, the blade comes out of the hilt as well. So as far as articulation goes, you know, it's, I think, pretty standard for Black Series, but not as good as Marvel Legends or something else that has, you know, a less realistic sculpt. So on the head, we have two ball joints, one on the neck and one on the head, which basically gives him, you know, complete range of motion as well as looking up really far and looking down really far. As far as the arms go, he's got a butterfly joint in there, but it doesn't do too much. Um, there's a hinge and a swivel there on the shoulder. And these pieces actually are separately attached so they can, you know, go along with the arm, kind of like on the Mandalorians. And he's got a swivel and a bend there at the elbow as well. on both sides. And then finally, we have a swivel and a up and down um, hinge joint on this wrist and the same uh, up and down hinge joint on this wrist as well. Now, as far as torso goes, um, you know, it's pretty good. He's got a ab crunch that doesn't really do much there, um, which is constricted by the robes there. And then he's got, you know, one of those double ball joints inside the waist there that allows for a Really good amount of waist swivel and waist crunch. At the hips, he's got those ball peg joints, swivel of the thigh, and then only a single uh, joint there at the knees. At the ankles, it's a swivel, one of those, you know, kind of more ratchety swivels or uh, ratchety hinges, and then you have the regular swivel there at the ankle as well. You can uh, kick out this wide with the splits, and then you can also kick forward that much, and you can kick back only that much. So now for some size comparisons. Here he is next to Ahsoka Tano from the Siege of Mandalore, and then Pre Vizsla from the fateful uh, duel in the throne chamber. And then here we have him next to Lady Bo-Katan Kreese from The Mandalorian Season 2. And then here we have a uh, Death Watch Mandalorian, which is from, I think, also The Mandalorian in, in a flashback. So as you can see, you know, he's quite a bit smaller than The Mandalorian's in full armor. Um, and he's actually just about the same height as Ahsoka as well. So he's kind of, you know, more of a slight build, but the detail is really good. And I think that that's actually an accurate size as well. So in conclusion, you know, this is, it's a really great figure. Um, I don't really collect so much of the Black Series. I'm mostly a Marvel Legends guy. And then I have a lot of three and three quarter scale Star Wars figures. Mostly we've just been collecting the Mandalorians because I, they've, you know, been releasing a lot of them over the past couple of years. But, you know, with with the new pre that came out, I felt like I had to go and pick up the Starth Mole too, so that eventually, you know, I could do a stop motion 
And I'm really happy with how he turned out. You know, even with only the single jointed elbows and single jointed knees, he still has better articulation than a lot of these Mandalorians do. And the details are just amazing. The paint apps are great. Uh, there's a couple of QC issues on my copy, but nothing that I can't fix myself. And yeah, overall, I'm just it, it's such a cool character. They did a lot of great stuff with his story over the course of the Clone Wars. And I'm happy to finally have uh, this version of Maul in my collection.